If you're looking for a vintage editing technique for your Instagram photos and editing straight on your phone, I have got that for you right here. A couple of apps that I've recently been playing with that I've found have given me that vintage vibe that I've been looking for and I think that's the direction that I want to go into for 2019 for my feed. So if you want that, just keep watching. I will be showing you all these apps. What I will not be showing you today is how I do basic editing on my phone, more exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, that kind of thing. I will be showing you those apps in a different video. So today's video is just for the vintage lovers. Let's get into it. If you do want to find my social media and a couple of things that I have been doing, I will link that up right below. But I want to start with these. These are the apps that I'm going to be showing you today. So I won't uh, keep you too long if that's all you're looking for. But first I want to start out with this app called Snow. So if you open up the Snow app, um, and I think that this one is free, I will double check all of those and I will tell you if they are free or what they cost below as well, just because I won't be able to remember in this. But when you open up this app, you can actually change the aspect ratio of the photo that you're choosing to edit. Three by four is the largest photo that Instagram will allow you to post. And when you think about it, when people are scrolling down your feed, yes, square looks great and you want to know what that square looks like so that on your feed, you can kind of plan out what it will really look like. But three by four gives you that ability to actually have them scrolling a little longer on that photo. Milliseconds matter when it comes to analytics. So when we choose the snow app, you can actually go in, go behind, choose a photo that you have already taken, which is really great because some of these apps, you can only actually take a photo and then edit it. This you can inherently add a photo. There are tons of filters within this, but in just showing you kind of vintage vibes, you're going to go to that smiley face and then VHS has been one of those things that people have been obsessed with for a while, whether it be stories or whatnot. So you can choose um, VHS, you can change the different kinds of colors that come with that. And then as well, I believe you can make it a black and white too. So there are a couple of different filters that you can do within this Snow app and it's just really fun to just have fun with it. I have actually also chosen to upload a video within this app and then edit that video using the preset. So the most recent video that I showed you guys on my Instagram feed, now this depends on when you're watching this, but say I just upload a random video. Uh, let's see here, what video do I have? Well, 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 I have been editing a few. So I'm just gonna upload this really random um, video. And then I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to scroll over and you can choose film one, film two, and film three. So those three are going to give you the date on the side as if you were actually taking it from like a, a camera and uh, with film, it's going to give you that date as well. It's going to be the date that you're editing. You can't edit that date. And then choosing film one, two, or three, that's how you're going to get the more vintage you feel within this app inherently. So those are a couple things that you can do within Snow. You can do beauty filters, stickers, tons of different filters. So with that, it's been pretty cool. And uh, you can actually also add music to your photos. So that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna exit out of Snow right now and I'm gonna open up another one. The second one on here, eight millimeter. This has been a really fun app to use. I just started playing with this the other day and I found it really cool. I'm gonna turn on the info button here and we're gonna talk through it. So you can add reels and clips, front camera, flash. So that's obviously if you are going to be taking the photo right in the app. You can also do different sound options. And with those sound options, I'll show you. This is a microphone, that's the microphone option. And then this little reel guy, that's actually gonna give you the sound of like, a film reel. So that can add a bit of a vintage feel. We can also change on the side the way that this uh, light leak or the filter is going to look. So let's do 60s for this one. It's kind of got that flowery feel. And then over here in that little box, you can actually also change the way that the framing is going to look. Typically I do that two-tone framing. I really like that one. And then the button on the inside of that record is going to do like skip a frame. So that's what you're gonna do when you're inherently recording. So let's go, let's record a video. We're gonna skip a frame, skip a frame. 
and skip a frame, and that's pretty cool. I'm gonna like maybe pan to my lights and then pan back to you guys and stop recording. So with that, that was an example of taking the video in the app. And then with that, if you press that little film, you're gonna actually see the clip that you just took. So with that clip, you are now in kind of an editing resource. You can add music. So I don't have a lot of music on my iTunes. So don't judge me, I listen on Spotify. So I'm just gonna add, I did something bad by Taylor Swift. Um, and then we're gonna play it out. And then you can basically see that it's just going to edit that for you over top of the film that we just took, which is really cool. Um, I'm gonna also show you guys another example of a video that I did. This one is with Scott and his niece, Reese. Another Taylor Swift song because that's all I have on my phone. But this was a really cool resource because when you're actually in the app, you can use that little gear and then that little arrow there and then upload straight from the videos and photos that you already have in your albums. So again, some of these apps don't allow you to do that. So that is actually a huge benefit when you are editing these. So if I go into videos and I just choose another one just from Christmas, I'm just gonna keep on the theme of Reese and Scott. And then we're gonna change this over to maybe back to 70s. Oh, two stripes, pretty cool. I'm gonna change it. I don't want Reese to look. <laughs> distorted at all. So let's go 70s and then we are also just going to do that two-tone color so it's pretty fun and then I'm going to record and then it is basically editing that video over top and you can edit it for as long as you want and once it stops the actual video that you uploaded it's going to be filming you. So actually it doesn't film you it just stops all completely and then you can go back into your library in the app add the music or even build it into a sequence. So that's also really neat. Once you have a few clips on here, you can in the app, just drag it kind of like an iMovie sequence. Okay, so I don't wanna <laughs> be too long. So another really cool app is called Huji and, oh, I'm holding this up down. Oh no, there we go. It is basically, I saw two apps like this. This one was my favorite, so I'm not even gonna mention the other one. Fuji is kind of like Fuji, like Fujifilm, taking those little Polaroid cameras. This one is so cool because you can tap on the little frame there or you can pretend as if you're taking um, a photo like that. And then you can take a photo and then it's just going to develop it and process it like, like as if it was from a developed camera and you actually have to wait a couple seconds too. So that one's really cool, really straightforward. You are going to be taking photos with this one, not uploading photos from your reel. Another really cool one is RNI Film. So this is kind of basically just like one of those editing apps. There are a million out there. You're gonna load a photo up in here. I will load this one. This is from one of my favorite coffee shops in Hamilton. And basically the whole purpose of this one is that it's got a ton of different filters as if it was taken from that camera. So we're gonna go through a couple of these. So you can just tell that it is just going to try and filter these as if you were taking it on that film Kodak Gold 200, for example. In this case, if you are trying to find a consistent, cohesive feed, I suggest kind of choosing one of these and using that consistently throughout all of the photos that you have. And another really cool thing about this is you can also add um, contrast, the strength of the filter, um, highlights, grain, shadows, things like that, things that you would be able to do in any other photo and then tapping on the photo, you can see the original and take away the editing that you have done. Pretty basic in terms of that editing. I'm gonna exit out of that too. Okay, we are getting to back a little bit of the vintagey stuff. We're going to edit a photo or video. This app is called Glitch. You guys might've heard of this one before. I'm going to add a photo. Would you have access to my photos? Yeah, sure. We're gonna take this photo of me just down by the pier, that is super weird. No skull, thank you. And basically you just tap the photo all around and it just like glitches it up. And there are different types of glitches that happen with this. Oh, so you're kind of like dragging your finger over top. 
this is I guess for her pro and then you can adjust the channels and just do some really like weird things. And you can also record this as a GIF or GIF or however the heck that you pronounce it and a video. So this is kind of one of those apps where I haven't really used it a lot because I find it kind of confusing. But nonetheless, it is kind of cool if you do want to play with more of like a glitchy tone or you want to like grab people's attention in your stories, you can record one of those. You can pop it in unfold and we're gonna be talking about stories in a completely different video, but you could pop it in there and then make a really cool story. I wanna add some light leaks because everybody knows that Vintage Vibes got the light leaks going on, and I have two apps that I use to do light leaks. One is called LD, it's called Lens Distortions. This is an awesome app, but there are warnings that come along with using light leaks. It is highly suggested. Now your art is your art and you can do whatever you want because it is yours. But it is highly suggested that when you use a light leak, you want to use that light leak from where the light is actually coming from. So we're going to go back into this photo um, that I took from Synonym and let's analyze this. So on the left hand side, that's where the window is. So that's where I'm going to add that light leak in. So I chose a light leak, a classic one, and I'm going to have that light just splaying right across all of the coffee. What I love about lens distortions is that you can add softness, you can add brightness or dim that brightness. You can also take down the opacity because subtleness is everything when it comes to editing photos. You can make those light leaks bigger, smaller. I'm gonna delete this one and use another example. So you can make that light leak huge, you can make it way smaller, and you can just kind of play around with that. There are a ton of ones in this app that you don't have to pay for, and then once you go deeper into the app, you do have to pay. I have never needed to do that because the ones that they have in the app are pretty phenomenal and very diverse. The next light leak app that I'm gonna show you is called Afterlight. A lot of you guys have probably already heard about Afterlight, and it's a pretty phenomenal app. Let's go into this one. It is basically just a golden hour kind of shot. We're gonna use that one after previewing it and we're going to use this little box with half the lines out of it and right in there, it's gonna show you some light leaks. So light leaks are great when it comes to vintage photos because it kind of shows that the film's maybe a little bit destroyed, maybe got overexposed. We're going to add a light leak in here. And light leaks are cool too because they don't necessarily have to come from the area of the light. So that kind of adds a bit of a vintage feel. You can also flip them from the top to the bottom the way that the light leak looks and you can switch it from side to side. And then as well, of course, the intensity of that light leak. So I will allow you guys on your own time to go through after light and kind of check that out. The last app is an app just to support other bloggers. You guys have probably heard of Tezza. She is an all-star. This is her app and her and her boyfriend actually created this app. They did everything necessary to create it. So we're gonna go in Let's do this thing, I love that. And she actually has a vintage and mood setting. And I find that these are the most vintage and as well kind of older film looking presets within her preset. So again, with those filters, you can go in, change the intensity of them. If you are trying to find some consistency within your feed, always great to choose one and really just hit that one home every single time. Even if you edit your photo because it's so different from other photos in Lightroom on your computer, and then you throw it in an app like this and just add a little bit of it, it's just gonna help with that consistency. So I added in that mood, and then in Tezza's, she also is a queen of adding some dust. So she has dust options in hers as well, which adds a little bit of a vintage vibe. So you can do that and then change and up and down the intensity of the dust. And then when you save it, it basically just zooms in and it tells you that it has been successfully saved and for other options to look at other people who have used the Tezza app, you can post it on Instagram, use that hashtag Tezza app. So y'all, this has been um, a little look at creating vintagey looking photos. Eight apps we just reviewed. I will link all of those below and rank my favorites out of these. I think my favorites so far have been 
Hooji just because it's fun, like not for the sake of actually editing apps, but just for taking them and just being creative. I've also really loved LD for light leaks, and then Tez has been pretty fun uh, just for creating that consistent feed. If you guys have other vintage filters or other vintage apps that you use to edit your photos a little bit more old style, I would love to see those in the comments below. And if you do edit your photos using any of these apps off of this video, I would love if you would tag me in them because I really want to see what you guys are getting up to. Well, that is it. And we're going to have more Below the Blonde tutorials coming up because this is something I'm passionate about. And you guys, I'm passionate about. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!